Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be talking through my thought process and explaining why I am making all of the decisions that I am making in a ranked game of the finals. But this time, I'm just going to be talking about a couple of fights. So, a teammate marks an enemy over there. I look down there. There doesn't seem to be anything. So, I just uh, I try to come around a little bit. And then there's a different marker. And then I go look at that marker and we're going to spot some enemies. So, always look at your teammates' markers because generally there's going Going to be something there especially if they're marking enemies right so it's just always going to be a very good idea to listen to their markers like i didn't get audio for this at least i didn't hear the audio for it um but now that it's marked i see the enemies so i go invisible straight away so that no one can take shots at me right the light doesn't have much health you don't really want to be taking shots where you don't need to be um and then i i peek this so i see someone go into there and I'm going to just whip out a couple of frag grenades and I'm going to try and throw some frag grenades into there. That one does deflect off my teammate, but it still ends up making it into the room. With the second frag grenade, what I should have done was thrown it like against this wall. So it like deflected a little bit and went towards the cash out um, because they're trying to, to blow it up. But I guess I can't see into the future, so I didn't know they were going to do that. But it also would have been a good idea to not throw both of the frag grenades in the same location, just as a, a little tip. Um, and then I, I look down here. Um, there's still nothing. I'm kind of trying to go around before I think I saw someone go into this room. So I was seeing if they were in there. So you'll you'll realize that at the start I was by this side of the rectangle and now I've gone over here. And now I'm going to go back more to the center because I know that there's a door over here as well. So you'll note that like originally I was here and then I went over there and now I'm over here. So it's good to like go around whatever hole you're looking down under through the roof, you know? It's good to like change where you're looking because you're probably going to see more stuff. Now, I see two people here. I see two purples. One, you know, I can try and shoot that person if I want, but they're, it looks like they're sprinting, um, so that's going to be a little bit hard to do, and also there's much less to shoot. It makes a lot more sense to shoot this person who's basically standing still, and I can see they're like full body, so it's going to be a lot easier to try and shoot that person, and also I can see my teammate in there, so they're probably aggroed onto my teammate right now as well. So I'm going to try and get some shots onto them. They do end up moving, um, and then I'm going to get some shots onto this light. So you'll also note there, let me go back a little bit, you'll also note that when I reload here, uh, it's right about now, so I put some shots into them, and then I reload, but when I'm reloading, I, I, I back out. There's no need to, like, stay on top of that thing while you're reloading, because then they could just shoot you and you're not going to be able to do anything. Um, it's going to be always, it's always going to be better to reload in cover. So I reload, I back out, and then as I'm almost done the reload, I slowly push back in, right? Even though it sacrifices, like, a bit of vision and a bit of awareness for this fight, it's always going to be better to just not get shot, right? As a light, especially, you really just don't want to get shot. So I reload, um, a light pops up in there, I'm able to get a bunch of damage on them, and now I see their totem, which is right here. So my plan here is to just camp the totem. You'll see I've even got the stun gun out in the bottom right, and the reason for that is if anyone tries to defib, I'm just going to stun them so they can't defib, and then I'm going to shoot them. So I was ready to stun that one, and um, they drop down. They do a lot of damage to my teammate, so I'm like, okay, I should probably help out my teammate. So I drop down with them. Um, and then someone's gonna throw a frag grenade in here, and I react late to this. If I try and back out, I should have, like, sprinted back out, but I just kind of slowly walk backwards, uh, which isn't very good, and then I get blown up. So now I'm a little bit low, um, and I go into the corner in this room. I see my teammates have both gone down. You'll notice here, actually, I have a tiny little look at where my teammates are, just so I know. Having awareness of where your teammates are is very, very, very valuable, especially as a light, because you kind of have to flank as a light, or you kind of have to have the enemies be distracted as a light in most situations. Um, so I'm going to peek around this corner, because I want to see who threw the frag grenades, and I can see that there is an enemy totem here. So I'm going to wait here with my stun gun for whoever wants to come res their enemy, come defib their enemy. I'm going to stun them so they can't defib, and now I'm just going to spray them. Um, I did get super low, but my teammate basically saved me there. I did get the assist for that, so teammate helped finish that enemy off, and we do win the fight. Um, so just, like, it, that would have been really annoying to deal with if I didn't stun that enemy and they got their teammate up, right? That would have been super annoying to deal with, um, but luckily I stunned them because that's very, very powerful. They couldn't res. And then I was able to get that elimination. Teammates also just did very, very well. I think in most of these fights, my teammates are going to go do pretty well as well, which obviously always helps. Um, but yeah, we're going to go on to the next fight, which is right here. So we're going towards Cash Out A. Uh, purple is at this. We don't have... I oh know, we've, we've got a little bit of time, but not a crazy amount of time. Like if we get white, you won't be able to fight here again. Um, and I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but there is an enemy up there. 
so I'm going to go invisible because I obviously don't want to get shot. My teammates are kind of shooting from far away, which is fine. But I would rather push in and then try and like take out a couple of enemies while they're distracted by my teammates because that's literally the light's job. Um, well, it's one of the light's jobs. So I just see a random person here. I was going to try and like cl climb up this debris and uh, flank the person that's shooting at my teammates. But there's one here. They're placing a pyro barrel. So right now they can't shoot me, you know, and if they try and blow up the pyro barrel, they're going to damage themselves as well. So I just stun them um, and then I'm going to take them out. In general, you want to start off with the stun unless you're saving it for someone that's going to defib or someone that's going to try and steal the cash out that you have. But um, unless one of those two things are happening, you might as well start off with your stun gun. And I did get a little bit lucky in that I like was able to shoot them around this cover. Like they can't see me here because they're a medium and I don't think they were crouching. Um, and because I'm a light, I can like fit under this. So that's a little bit unlucky, but they were like super duper low. So I'm pretty sure I was going to be able to finish them off just fine here. So I, I just get a pick there. Um, I stun them, and then I take them out. Stun gun is very, very powerful. And now I'm going to climb up this debris because I want to go back to my original plan, which is to shoot the people that are shooting at my teammates, right? So I'm just going to try and get a couple of shots onto this person. They do end up moving as soon as I start shooting, which is a little bit unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. Um, and now my teammate does very, very well. They just go straight to the cash out. And to the enemy that I just shot at, it's probably going to seem like it was me that went down to the cash out, so they're probably going to be fine coming down here now. I think that's what happens um, to the enemy. Maybe it's a different enemy, actually. I'm not sure. In fact, I think it is. But anyway, um, they try and jump down. I'm just, I'm very ready for that because that's where the previous enemy was that I was shooting at, right? So I'm thinking they're still up there, but I think that was actually just a different enemy. But that's how I was like pre-aiming that. Um, and then there's an enemy down here. I see my teammates taking some damage, so I'm just going to help them uh, take this dude out. We don't have much time left to get the cash out, but if we get this dude, it should be fine. They're not uh, medium, so I don't have to worry about like instantly stunning them. I can just kind of take my time with this. There's also like another teammate um, here. I just reload my stun gun. I do try and stun them, but I hit the metal thing. Um, and then uh, I'm able to get the kill because my teammate got them super duper low. Uh, teammate's going to go for the cash out. They're going to get it, and I'm going to res while they're getting the cash out. And uh, yeah, just another fight that goes very, very smoothly. And now we're going to go on to the final one, which is right about here. So I'm going to make this elevator go up and open the vault. And what I want to do is here is like once the elevator goes up, I'm going to throw the gateway on top of the vault. Um, so then I can like go 70 meters away and use the other gateway so like it instantly transports the vault to the next cash out, which I like doing as a light. Um, but unfortunately, there's enemies up here, which I wasn't expecting because this is like it's the final round, right? I didn't know where the enemies were, but I didn't expect them to be here. Um, so I'm about to get beamed, and I kind of react a little bit slow, and then I just die. Um, so just a little bit unfortunate here. Sometimes it happens. I didn't know where the enemies were, and they were right in front of me. Um, and now a teammate tries to res me. This is good. Resing is always good. Um, they, they're going to chuck a dome shield down, but the enemies do really, really well. This is like an absolutely beautiful um, dematerializer. They just knew exactly where my heavy was going to go. And also the dome shield kind of gave it away. And uh, what my teammate could have done was like thrown the dome shield in the middle of the room. So like the edges of the dome shield didn't poke out the window because then the enemies maybe wouldn't have known they were in there. But I think it was just like a good guess by the enemy. Um, so they are going to like kill the heavy, but the heavy gets one of them super low. And as I'm getting defibbed here, I know that the enemies are low because I was just spectating it, right? So what I'm going to try and do is I see this heavy mesh shielding and I see them low. So I'm going to try and like just flank around the heavy and take them out as they're using the mesh shield. So I respawn. They're jumping and they're about to use an RPG, but I was expecting them to still be, to still be mesh shielding, which is why I'm going like towards the heavy, towards the heavy's uh, left shoulder. But luckily they RPG and it doesn't do any damage to me because I had just got defibbed. So... Like, I've, I still have the invincibility, right? So that's a little bit lucky, um, but the heavy should have not blown himself up, I guess. Um, and then I was going to be ready to stun that enemy there. There's an enemy here. You can't really see him right now because it's a bit smoky. But um, I'm very ready to stun this enemy so they don't defib their heavy, and then I'm going to finish them off. Like, you don't want to start shooting instantly there because what might happen is they might just get the defib off. Like, I didn't know how low that person was, right? So if I started shooting them and they defibs... That would have been bad. So in that situation, always start with a stun, because even if you die, then maybe your teammate's going to be able to finish them off before they're able to res normally, right? Um, or defib again. So always, always start off with a stun if someone's close to resing their teammate. Um, and now I, I'm just looking around because I'm not too sure where the third and final one is. I'm looking at my teammate over here, there, um, and here he's going to start taking some damage. I run towards him a little bit, and you can't actually see the enemy 
through this window right about here. You see him there. Um, I didn't see him in game at this point, so like I, di I didn't actually know where he was. And right now, what I'm thinking is he just had a little fight with my other teammate, right? So he's probably low, and he's probably going to let his health regeneration kick in. And I'm thinking that because he probably thinks that I'm resting a teammate, in which case he should just let the health regeneration kick in, um, I think. Actually, no, you know what? He's What I meant to say was he's probably thinking that I'm resing a teammate, so I think that he is going to come res one of, one of his own teammates. I was expecting him to come through that door, but he simply just didn't. Um, and now I, I know where both of the totems are, right? Both of the totems are over here because I prevented the last guy from resing. Um, and then I, just, I realize he's like taking a second to come around over here. So maybe he is waiting for his health regeneration instead of trying to get to his teammate's totem and resing them. So I just decide, okay, if he's waiting for health regeneration, I'll res my teammate. And then I see him over here. Note, I've still got like excellent vision on these two totems. That's why I don't bring this totem somewhere far away and res because that would reset the fight. If I brought this totem somewhere far away to cover and tried resing and he did the same, that would completely reset the fight. Whereas I feel like I've got the advantage here. Uh, my stun gun is also very ne nearly ready if I need to use that. Uh, but I just shoot him. I'm pretty confident here and I am able to take them out. And we are just going to win the fight. I'm going to res my teammate here and the vault's going to... Uh, I'm just going to take the vault to the cash out. So basically, we won two of the fights as... Uh, we won two of the fights because stunning people is very, very, very powerful. We won this first one um, because I stunned someone that was going to res and then they weren't able to res. At least I'm pretty sure that's what that happened. I'm pretty sure that's what happens at some point. And also I had a very nice position up here and just getting those little bits of chip damage in is very, very powerful. Yeah, I do stun someone here at some point. Um, so I stun someone in this fight and they can't res their teammate. And then I finish them off and a teammate helps me finish them off actually. But this like, is just very, very, very powerful. Some gun is, some gun is super, super, super good and just really annoying to play against. Um, so that goes well. This second fight here, I think maybe the enemies played a little bit poorly. I think they got a bit of tunnel vision on like shooting my teammates instead of just defending the cash out. Um, and I've just got a nice position again here. I'm able to eliminate the enemies as they're like panicking to get back to the cash out. And then in this third fight, um, again, I, I basically just done someone that's going to defib and it just goes well. And then I'm able to finish the last person off um, and it just all goes pretty smoothly. So we do actually end up winning this game as well, but I wanted to try making like a shorter video where I kind of explain things a little bit more slowly just to give you the full idea. Because a lot of the time in my longer form videos, um, I kind of talk about stuff quite quickly. Um, but I wanted to try this out. So um Oh, there's the VLC logo. Can I play it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there you go. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.